How's it going everyone? This is James Raz gonna bring you special ladies and gentlemen a new video today and today we are going to talk about I'm sure you guys can tell from the title six years being vegan. This is the month that is my six year anniversary of first turning vegan or becoming vegan. It's a crazy thing. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. So we're going to talk about my journey being six years vegan and how I've enjoyed the process, how I've loved every second of it, how the six years has really molded me, how the process of learning new things, that each day is a new adventure and to learn something new, which vegetable, fruit, anything plant-based, how it can make my life better, how it can make my clients better, how it could overall health make me better. There's so much to learn, there's so much new things coming out, like looked into sea moss. Just discovered that with one of my clients telling me about it. It's just like so much things out there, so many plants out there to be discovered and see what medicinal uses they have. It's crazy. So the six years has been something else. Last year was five years, that was a great mark and that's why I got this tattoo on my hand to the dedication behind it not giving up and really seeing what the truth is and willing to make an impact on this earth make an impact on the animals uh, the earth we live in and our healths that's the main three reasons why i went vegan for our planet that's slowly dying if we don't change things asap for the animals that are being slaughtered by the millions and billions daily weekly yearly and especially for our healths to really give back to our bodies that do so much for us. Those are the three main reasons why this journey has been possible and why I've stuck to it. And why I always tell people try to become more plant-based. If they're not ready to give up meat for some reason, to just add slowly and steady more plant-based meals in their diet on a daily basis. Eat more fruit, eat more veggies. A lot of people don't eat a lot of fruit. It's crazy. They don't eat a lot of vegetables because they, they're they just so narrow-minded on some things that protein, protein, protein has to be number one. I mean, amino acids are great, but so are the other essential vitamins, nutrients for our cellular growth, for our body's growth, everything. We need all that. So adding different foods, different leafy greens, vegetables, whatever it might be, to stay away from the protein topic. Because I don't know, a lot of people have been like brainwashed with, what about the protein? What about the protein? Like, are you getting enough fiber in your diet? Are you pooping regularly? <laughs> Things you gotta ask to counterpoint those people who always push protein. Our body gets enough protein. A lot of living things, plants, vegetables have proteins and we don't have to over protein or over saturate our diets with protein. Because our bodies are only able to produce and break down a certain amount of protein at a time. And people who are eating 30, 40 grams of protein at a time, our bodies can't handle that. They only can handle about like 15 to maybe 18 tops, maybe 20 grams of protein per sitting. So if you're dumping all this protein at once, it's just, you're gonna straight piss it out. Six years has been amazing. I love it. And if anyone asks me, would you change anything? No. The only thing I would change is that I would wish that I went vegan sooner. I wish I was enlightened sooner. But I'm six years in, I'm 31 years old, and I'm gonna keep going. When I started this journey, I never thought of an end. Like I would stop being vegan. It's something that I just jumped into, not knowing what would happen. Like I knew it would be a struggle, because six years ago, not a lot of places or the media or social media was really pushing the vegan diet. It was a very scarce and a handful of people. Nowadays, six years later, it's like, you could find milk alternatives, meat alternatives, almost everywhere. And if you go to a restaurant, they're most likely going to have some vegan options. It wasn't like that six years ago. So the changes from now to then are crazy. And it's a very good sign. You go to like the dairy aisle, you see cheese alternatives. And you go to down the milk aisle, and then you see way more, probably half of the, the dairy selection is plant-based which is amazing and as the dairy industry is dying and losing a lot of money and a lot of those companies are going 
plant-based because they see how the demand is so high for it. It's a, it's a good sign. It's a great sign. And I'm very hopeful for the future and I can't wait to hit 10 years. It's, it's been a ride and I love every second of it. I just want to inform you guys on how the journey's been because I know a lot of people are skeptical about turning vegan and maybe I could help you. It's a hell of a journey, but if you start now, you are in a better place where I started, for sure. Because there's a lot more selections out there for you. But most importantly, I like to tell people, listen to your body and see which plants work best for you. I love sweet potatoes and I thrive off carbohydrates. With this keto uh, phase that's going on, this phenomenon, I don't know, I'm not about that keto life. But I thrive off carbohydrates, my body thrives from them. I see great changes in my body. Sweet potatoes are my lifeline. Ever since I first went vegan, that was the first thing I realized that my my body reacts to really well. A nice complex carbohydrate, sweet potato. So I'm like, dang, carbs are my thing. Carbs, protein, and some fats. I've added more fats in my diet as well. A lot of, a lot more seeds. I can't do nuts. I don't do nuts. That's a personal thing for me because some nuts, like my skin reacts bad to them, especially almonds. So got a slight allergy maybe to them. Just really listen to your body. I think that's, I became more aware of how I felt with foods when I first went vegan. Cause you realize, damn, I felt like shit for so long and I didn't even know it. But that's how my body was supposed to feel. But when you go vegan, you're like, man, I thrive off that food that I ate. Maybe not so much on that, but that I do well with. You just hone in on that and try to find other foods that are similar to that. And try new foods, see how you feel. If you feel great, energized, stick with it. Add some more things to your diet. If you do well with the other stuff that you introduce into your diet, go with that as well. But if you're feeling sluggish off something, maybe pass on it. It's all about you and how your body reacts. That's why I learned about being vegan and like first going in it. Cause before that, you know, I was doing chicken, meats, and you, you think you're supposed to feel a certain way cause you never really felt anything else. But when you first go vegan, you're like, dang, I can really feel my body and more in tune with my body and you feel how things go. Six years, crazy. And I'm happy to make this video. I don't think I made a year five video. I'm not sure why, but this six year video is coming to you guys now. <laughs> Do it. If you guys have not or on the brink or just on the thought of teetering whether you should try it or not try it what do you have to lose nothing you have everything to gain and the world your body the animals will thank you i know you won't hear it physically but i'm sure you would feel that energy in a great way knowing that you were helping out the world the animals and yourself <laughs> vegans aren't crazy we aren't pushing an agenda forward we're just trying to help the voiceless just really seeing that something has to change and our health should be number one. Help ourselves, help the world. All right guys, this is James Rice. My battery's about to die. I just wanna say I love you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the ride. I think I started this journey on YouTube. A few, I think year two, become vegan. So I think those videos are up. It's been amazing. Ah, Plant-based gains are real. If someone tells you you can't gain muscle off being a vegan or not eating meat, that's baloney. You could check Instagram. You could check anywhere. I'm living proof. Become stronger. Gain lean muscle just from plants. Easy as that. You guys are awesome. Stay risen, stay rising. Until next time. New video next week.